We are the Lockwoods, and we were traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise see only in textbooks and TV. Unfortunately, we've been stuck in the States for almost two months and eating almost every meal at home. And because food culture is such a big part of our travel adventure, we're all getting a little bit hangry for some of our international favorites. We're not even sure that we can make it another couple of weeks until we're back in Southeast Asia, but luckily we just heard about a relatively new Filipino restaurant that's only a few minutes drive from our house. So of course we had to come see for ourselves. Let's check out Manila Bay. They just opened early last year and we're getting here just before opening on a Tuesday. They've done a great job with the interior design in this huge dining room. Loving the little decorations and architectural touches all over. And over on this side they have an in-house bakery and takeaway counter. They sell a bunch of authentic homemade and imported Filipino favorites like these Goldilocks pastries and Magnolia ice creams that we'll probably end up having for dessert today. I mean we'd be here every day if it was in walking distance of our house. So I'm sure local Filipinos love this place. I I am dying for some Filipino food. I cannot believe we haven't been out of the country for two months. I am itching to get out, but we decided to stay in town over the summer for the kids because they're gonna have their summer break, their friends are gonna have their summer break, so they get to play a little bit more and have maybe a normal summer, like they went to camp. Oh, it's down to the wire. Uh, we found out the kids' cabins, and Brooklyn is Aspen, Colt is Coyote. Dropping them off at camp was an ordeal for me. You know how I cry in pretty much every single episode? No different. I was a mess. So now we just have to find the people who are going to take them to their cabins. The air smells of manure, so you know it's going to be fun. All right, here we are. This one is at uh, Aspen, so this is where Brooklyn's going to spend the week with Christina, her counselor and a little gang of girls here and then Colt's right next door like Coyote and uh, we've got our typical waterworks coming from Aaron over here. Have so much fun. I love you. Love you Thank you. You're welcome. See ya. Be real good, okay? Yeah, I love you. <laughs> it was so hard to walk away from them. I'm just gonna miss them. I know they're gonna have a great time. Whew. They're gonna have a blast. <laughs> now what do we do? <laughs> Now we have to get back home because I have to do laundry. We have to pack for a little trip of our own. <laughs> Gave Phil and I a chance to get away to Coronado for a little bit. Oh my God, I've missed this so much. It is Phil and mine's favorite place to be, but we haven't been back for over a year. But summer's over. Kids are back in school and we're ready to get out. We need those cultural experiences. This menu is very, is very good. I found like my favorite app appetizer in the world and my favorite yum yum in the world. Golden fries toasted in our Sinaging seasonings topped with a creamy aioli and green onions. What? <laughs> Hard to concentrate with the uh, wrestling competition going on over here. But this menu really does look legit. They've got a lot of the staples, some things that we recognize, even though I think most of the Filipino food we've had was street food, and some of these things are unfamiliar to us. But we're getting some recommendations from the owners. Benny and May are two of them. They're here tonight working with us. Lumpia, one of our favorites. I had Lumpia for the first time when we went to Bonando Market, the Chinatown in Manila. So that brings back super memories. Yeah, I can confirm. This is such a, a cool little street here that is, it looks like a small market in a narrow street. Uh, but we're at New Peng, New Po Hang Lumpia House. Now the only lechon they have on the menu is the lechon kowali, which Interestingly, I don't think we've ever had in the Philippines, but we have had it in the United States, in Miami, when Aaron and I were jumping around trying to find good mojito bars. And at first I took a bite, I thought it was a potato, because it has that consistency, but actually I think it's fried fat, and it's amazing. They also have a summer specials menu, and honestly, I think instead of getting the lechon kowali, we'll probably go for the crispy pata, because it's more of an unusual dish. We've never had it before, and they don't usually have it here. This definitely feels like an OOE situation to me. One of everything. Other than just wanting to find a Filipino restaurant, I like that it's called Manila Bay, because we are specifically flying into Manila in a few short weeks. 
because in case you missed our live episode last week, we're actually gonna be using Manila BGC as our part-time home base for Asia. So we're gonna split the year between Denver and Manila. So when we get to Manila, we're gonna apartment shop. Probably gonna do that right away. And besides the fact that it's gonna be a very convenient hub for all of our Asian travels, we also get to be neighbors with our best friends in the entire world, the Ocampos from Mom Duty Channel. If you don't already follow them, be sure to check them out right here. They make the best family-friendly travel content. They are so real and genuine, and they are our favorite people in the world. They're so sweet. So subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. You also might see some Phil cameos in their episode. Gelatinous. 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 This is a Filipino lemonade, basically a calamasi lemonade. Well, it wouldn't be a lemonade. It'd be a calamasi aid. <laughs> Colt's gonna try it first. He's like limeade. Yeah. Is it because it's lemonade with lime? It's calamasi. You remember they're about this big. You see them in Asia a lot when we're there. And so it's calamasi aid. Yeah. Well, I like that a lot better than lemonade because yeah, it's not it's sour. Lemonade. It's not too sour. That tastes so much more like the fruit than lemonade does. Lemonade just tastes like a lemon flavored drink with a lot of sugar, but this just tastes like you're squeezing the, what is it called? Calamasi. Calamasi, right into a glass. That's so good. These are sinigang fries, and they are fries with a, a bunch of sinigang seasonings, a creamy aioli sauce, and topped with some green onion. <laughs> <laughs> I want this saucy one because I'm really saucy, and saucy rhymes with saucy. Salt and spicy mayo mixed together with seasonings. It's like a spicy mayo, but there is a really yummy salty taste. It's like a little kick to the salt, right? It has a spicy mayo flavor. Yeah. I don't think it's spicy. Though. But there's something tangy about like the salt specifically. Well, this is pretty much the big daddy right here. It's crispy pata, which is a complete pork hock deep fried until it's super crispy. So this is what we're doing instead of our lechon tonight. Specifically, the lechon kowali that they have on the menu. I don't even know how to eat this, but there's a big knife, so I'm guessing I just start stabbing and cutting away. And look, it doesn't even move. Like, that's crispy. <laughs> Do you think we ordered enough? I want to dive right into this. It's bunga sig sig. It's Six six. No, sissy. Sissig. 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 It's bungus six sig. No, there's no sick. It's sissig. It's bungus six sig. And so it's a milk fish that's chopped up and boneless, deep fried onions, different onions, green onions, red onions, and it looks and smells so, so good. I could have used a spoon. And I love how it like it's plated on the fish, just filleted open. Mm. Really good. This fish is still really, really juicy. And it's really salty too. It almost tastes like soy, soy sauce. I, I'll have a little piece. Do like a mm -hmm. shovel. Okay. And then shove it down your throat. It's very seasoning. Yeah. And maybe a little soy sauce. Oh, definitely has that same seasoning the french fries had. Okay, but let's get back to this pata because I have to see what this is all about. <gasps> Can you see how that is a hoof? Is that what you call it, a hoof? I, yeah. A pig hoof? Mm -hmm. All the bones. So crispy. Mmm, the skin is so crispy. It really pulls apart pretty easily. It is so hot though. It's burning hot. It's our house made soy sauce. That's good. All right, I gotta get into this big part. Oh. <laughs> All right, if you like crispy skin on lechon, you would love this. That's phenomenal. Mmm. This place has carry out and delivery also. I'm not sure how this would turn out. I don't even know if they do this thing. Since it's on the special menu, they may not include it in the delivery. I want to get some of this. Oh, yes. I'm going to put it on the skin like a cracker. It's so crunchy. And the pork is really, really good, too. But hey, Colt, try that pork. And then try a bite of this. Tastes like a, a fat cracker. A fat cracker. <laughs> a cracker. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> a fat cracker. That's just full of pork meat. I had no idea. I thought it was just going to be like, crispy skin and stuff, but look at that. Oh my gosh, is that the heart? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's like the dark meat of the pork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to eat fish. I don't like to work for my food, so getting a whole grilled fish or a, a fried fish in this case is way too much work for me. This is perfect because they've done all of it for you and it's so easy to eat. Mm. But that's not all. We have more. This is what I really wanted when I saw it on the menu. It's oxtail kari kari. And it has a peanut sauce 
eggplant, and bok choy. I see kari kari on the menus a lot when we're in the Philippines, and this is the first time, I think, I can remember, we've actually had it. And I love oxtail. Oh my gosh. I thought it was gonna be hard to cut, like I might need a knife. That was really easy to get some meat off of it. And this is shrimp paste. Our server, who's from the Philippines, said that we take just a little dot and put it on there. It's probably gonna be pretty salty, so I'm not gonna do too much. Mmm, that peanut sauce is really good. The oxtail is really yummy too. And that shrimp paste, like, it tastes like there's a shrimp on it. I don't think it's too salty though, not at all. I'm gonna try some of the eggplant. Eggplant's so good. Is it actually an ox's tail? Let me get that. Mmm, mmm. Even though you just said peanut sauce, mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting peanut sauce. <laughs> hey look, a knife. Yeah, as we've mentioned in some of our other episodes, not a lot of restaurants in the Philippines actually put knives on the table, and apparently this is what we were told when we were there. It goes back to like the days of occupation by, who was it, Japan? Spain. Spain. The Spanish wouldn't let them have knives because they might use them for weapons. Did I get that right, babe? What we heard is because the Filipinos were such skilled knivesmen. So they thought, don't risk it, don't give them any knives, not even a table knife. So instead, they learned to eat their food with a fork and a spoon. I have not mastered this yet, but there is a technique to use your spoon as a knife. I'm gonna give this bite to Cole. He's been waiting for some oxtail. Ooh, peanut. Yeah. Yum, it's like soft, very soft. Mm -hmm. And of course, since this is Filipino cuisine, we got tons of white rice, which I'm gonna dip in this peanut sauce because that'll be phenomenal. Rice is so good for dipping, that's why you can go through rice so easily. If I had to choose, I would say hands down, the fish is my favorite. It's so good. What about you? French What's your French. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the seasoning on it. There's some on the plate. It's so good. You know what? I think it's probably got calamasi. That's why it's a bit tangy. It was all really good. I think for me, it's gonna be the pata because it's unusual. I haven't had that before and it's really so good. Every part of it is either crispy or really tender. So it's like you get pulled pork and the crispy skin. I guess a lot like lechon itself, but it's time for dessert. Did someone say D-E-S-E-R-T? No. Somebody said D-E-S-S-E-R-T. -E -E <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll definitely get one hollow hollow, and then there's another dessert on here that I haven't heard of before, but we've got to try that one because it sounds insane. This is hollow hollow, and it means mix mix. There is sweetened beans, weird jello thingies, ice cream, shaved ice, and whatever the heck those are. This looks like coconut flakes, and this over here is flan. There's also condensed, sweetened condensed milk at the very bottom, but when we were in the Philippines and we had Halo Halo, they gave us the sweetened condensed milk on the side and we poured it on top, and it almost kind of helped everything uh, melt and meld together. It really doesn't matter. All that matters is that you eat it. If you don't know what ube is, and of course everybody in the Philippines knows, but outside of the Philippines, it's very much like a sweet potato. And if you've been to Hawaii, actually ube is really big in Hawaii also, but they also have poi. We had poi donuts in our episode in Oahu. You can check that one out and see. Poi is made from taro root, but ube is sweeter than taro is. And we've got some little, uh, basically like spring rolls, egg rolls that are wrapped bananas. Sweet bananas inside of an egg roll wrapper, and then there's powdered sugar and honey on the outside. Might be hot. I hot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look green. <laughs> but this is a little masterpiece that I'm excited about because the description sounds phenomenal. This is called maize con yellow, and it is sweet corn, it is sweet milk, it is shaved ice, and it's got cornflake cereal, and then it's topped with a magnolia corn cheese ice cream. <laughs> corn as a dessert, I think, is just so underrated. I'm excited about this ice cream. I think that's one of the best ice creams I've ever had. Corn and cheese. <laughs> this is like ice cream cereal. It's corn. Big lump and up. I could eat corn for dessert. It's so sweet as it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> to get to the milk. <laughs> Will we put that to end? No, not quite. Is I need more. <laughs> no. Is that a end. saying? Can it be a saying now? We're gonna make a shirt now that says, put that to end. <laughs> So good. Sweet, sweet ending. But we have more sweets to show you. Yeah. All right, guys. Do you want something from the bakery? Love something from the bakery. All right, you can each get one thing from the bakery. You said one thing, right? Yep. One, thing. one thing for each hand. Ow. 
This is wintermelon milk tea mochi. And mochi is bean paste inside of some rice paste. Can also have ice cream inside of it, but that's more of a sugary dessert sort thing. But this specifically has is wintermelon milk tea flavored, which is like boba, except it's more iced tea boba. I see with tapioca Watermelon milk tea. But these are for tomorrow because they've had plenty of sugar for one day. Well, that was the perfect meal to tie us over until our next trip out of the country to the Philippines. But that's not where we're going next. We're actually going on a little American holiday in Florida. <laughs> Woo! We're going to a little coastal town called Seaside, Florida. And even though most of you probably have never heard of it, you may have seen it before because it is the actual set location for a Jim Carrey movie called The Truman Show. In the movie, it's supposed to be this domed Hollywood set. It's actually Seaside, Florida, and that's pretty much exactly what it looks like even to this day. So you gotta check it out because it's a charming, adorable, cute little city. So if you happen to subscribe and hit that notification bell, it will tell you exactly when that episode comes out. See you in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more episodes because it helps our channel.